Once again, my name is Brad Wentland, W-E-N-T-L-A-N-D-T. -E I'm the police chief for the city of Greenfield. I'm uh, currently functioning as a public information officer on behalf of the city of Oak Creek. Obviously, um, they're, they're very involved right now and very busy. Um, as I said earlier, about 10.25 a.m., uh, the Oak Creek Police Dispatch Center received multiple 911 calls of a shooting at the Sikh Temple here in Oak Creek. The first officer on the scene is a 20-year uh, law enforcement veteran, an extremely accomplished tactical officer. Uh, when he arrived on the scene, he engaged an active shooter outside of the temple. Uh, multiple rounds were exchanged. The officer was shot multiple times. He is currently at Freighter Hospital and being treated for multiple gunshot wounds. He is in surgery. His condition is not known at this time. The suspect, the shooter, was also shot. He is down on the scene and presumed deceased. Uh, tactical officers have made multiple uh, search runs through the facility, through the temple at this time. The best information we have now, and this information may change, is that two individuals were transported from the scene by various local fire departments for gunshot wounds. One being the officer, the other a civilian. The uh, emergency medical personnel, the tactical personnel who have gone through the scene have initially identified what they believe to be four deceased inside of the temple and three deceased outside of the temple, one of whom is the shooter. That is the best information we have available at this time. I do not have any additional information to share with you. As you can see behind me, there are multiple agencies involved here, both local, state, and federal. And we're all trying to coordinate the response here, make sure that everybody's safe, anybody who may be wounded is taken care of, and that this investigation gets underway forward. There was a concern about multiple gunmen based on information heard over the scanners. I will tell you that at this time, we have not identified any additional gunmen. Uh, it's possible in these types of incidents, as I said before, they're extremely fluid calls and multiple reports. So it's possible that those multiple reports were of the We have not identified it in the temple or on the scene. At this point, we're not sure if there was additional shooters. That will be part of this ongoing process of tactical follow-up, ensuring that everyone is accounted for, ensuring that the scene is secure, and accounting for all the victims and witnesses. I cannot take any questions at this time because that's all the information I have right now. We will schedule this same spot where representatives from the various agencies will be, be present and we hope that we'll be able to answer some more of your questions at that time. I thank you for your patience. Please sit tight until 3.30. Thanks.